Hey everybody, today we're going to do a little tutorial on this uh, link, jqe360.com. First off, you're going to need your, of course, your RGH or JTAG 360. You're going to want that to be running the latest version of Freestyle Dash 3. As far as I know, I have the latest and it works just fine, but uh, I'm fairly sure that's the latest version. But uh, then you're going to want, you know, your, of course, your Xbox connected to the internet. Everybody, of course, knows what this is going to do. If not, brief explanation this is going to allow you to play your backup games on your Xbox, your JTAG, or RGH online. Everybody knows once you go RGH, you lose your live privileges. But a lot of us, you know, will take that cut for the bonus of not having to worry about discs but anyways uh, you'll want to have everything set up go ahead and probably can go ahead and turn your Xbox on you're going to want to go to jqe360.com or link.jqe360.com whichever floats your boat you're going to want to click on register for free give them your name, your username, email address all that good happy stuff Security questions, what team brought you the site? The answer is FSD in capital letters. It will not take it any other way. I tried. But um, once you get all that done, I believe you'll have to go to your email, check your verification email and all that. But when you come back and log in, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to bring you to this page that's got all the list of what games are supported by JQE and exactly how many users are online with them games course you know looking at these numbers on a Wednesday morning looks kind of crappy but this is the point of this tutorial let's get everybody on one you know software program here playing on multiplayer and we can get a lot more users up all right it says my Xbox is offline I'm not sure why it says that but oh well uh, from this page you can navigate what room you will be in on your Xbox. Say I you know, know I'm about to play Call of Duty Black Ops. You can go ahead and check out what rooms and you can even click on it and it will actually join the room. It will say Xbox location, public room one, whatever. If mine didn't say offline. Uh, you may need to do, if you got a router, you might need to do some port forwarding, stuff like that, but We'll go into that just in a little bit. Uh, for right now, just as long as you can see your link up and your Xbox location, like I said, it should be showing online and that you're in the lobby, main lobby, but mine's not for some reason. But anyways, as long as you can see this page, you've got your account, you've got your settings, you can see everybody online, you're ready to go on the internet side. Now we will need to go over to the actual Xbox. Alright, after you've got everything set up on your computer, you want to boot up your dash. Go ahead and boot it into Freestyle Dash. We'll try to do this and record so y'all kind of bear with me here. What you want to, I'm going to want to do first is go to your settings. Go to general settings and down to jqe.com. As you can see, it says type your username and password. Typing your username and password is no longer enough to link your console. You must click the button below. Type your username, your password, click link console to JQE360. I'm not going to try to get my uh, password put in. I want to go down here to this bar where it says link console to JQE360. Press A. You've done everything. It'll say successfully connect configured connection to server. One more thing. Let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. Uh, I bet it's down here. Plugin settings. Yeah. I'm gonna want to go to uh, plugin settings. Go down to FS3 plugin. This will be your link settings. You want to go ahead and enable link. 
I just left the port mapping open. It's going to show you your data and your broadcast port. If you're behind a router, you will need to go ahead and forward those ports to your Xbox. It's uh, 3072 and 3071. Use a UNP and P, uh, UDP. Both settings you want to use. Um, I don't do the RSS feed, but you can go right here to uh, test. Go ahead and press that. It's going to go through and see that your router is found. It's going to test your ports. It says mine pass, 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 pass. Going to check my authorization, my account. It says pass. Make sure devlink is disabled. It passed. Ping patch enabled. So everything should be ready to go. If you have any problems with that, it is more than likely your port settings. 3071 and 3072 are the ports you need to forward. I'm not going to go into all that right now. There's all kind of helpful sites online that will uh, explain how to set your ports for your specific router. And you know, plenty of online port checking programs to make sure you've done it right. If you still have problems after you forward your ports with your router, you may want to check your Windows firewall because they will also block ports from time to time. Alright, we're going to go ahead and load up Call of Duty. Of course, you want to make sure you're on the latest title update, which is now 9 for Black Ops 2. Um, if you're not on the t latest title update, you will probably not see any players because everybody will be on the latest and you'll be on the old one and you'll just be lagging behind. Nobody likes that. <laughs> this is actually the part that I had a bit of a time with because I couldn't quite find a good tutorial on how to join the servers. So we're going to go over that. That's why I'm loading up this game. You're going to want to go into multiplayer of course or zombies whichever just whatever online you're wanting to play alright from here now if we chose our you know, uh, room and server from the computer you will just be able to go to system link of course it's going to make you sign in game and there would be servers there but mine was being a punk so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press your Xbox key if you notice you got your freestyle home and your system link you're going to want to go to system link it's going to bring up basically your same server browser as the computer did you want to go over here pick your room public room Lock, of course, means locked. Uh, should show. There you go. A little yellow controller over the world when you're actually in that room. And you can see everybody who's in that room. But let's go ahead and back out. I'll go back to System Link and join game. And as you can see, we now have servers. Some servers are a bit laggier than others, just got to deal with that. Uh, but either way, this is how you do it. That's how you join a server, just like normal, play like normal. Hope you learned a little bit, and uh, see you next time.